do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right What's wrong, Callie? Well, I want to tell you, but you have to give me a minute. So, my kids' choir at church is getting ready to sing at church this Sunday. And we just had practice. Sounds great. Yeah, it usually would be, because you know that Callie loves to sing, sing, especially when it's singing for Jesus. So there we were practicing, and all of a sudden, our choir teacher, that's like our leader, said snack time! Yummy! At church, we have the best snacks. Those tiny little oranges and those little donuts that leave your mouth and hands all white with sugar dust. I love those! So everybody ran all at once, and I got caught up in the running, and I tripped and fell. I got a big carpet Ouch. burn on my knee. Oh no! That must have hurt. But that's not the worst part. I cried in front of everyone. I'm so sorry that happened, Callie. Thanks. The carpet burn hurt, but it wasn't as bad as how I felt about crying. I like to feel strong and brave. Crying in front of everyone made me feel the opposite of that. That's really hard, Callie. I know how you feel. I've felt that way before, too. Lots of people have, even in the Bible. Want to hear today's Bible story with me? Really? Okay. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapters 15 and 16. God chose a man named Saul to be the king of Israel until one day when Saul disobeyed clear directions from God. God sent Samuel God's messenger to Saul. Samuel told Saul to attack a group of people called the Amalekites. God said very clearly to destroy everything and leave nothing. But when Saul and the Israelites fought against the Amalekites, they destroyed almost everything and kept some things. They took the best animals and Agag, the Amalekite king. This meant that Saul did not obey God. This was really bad. God needed to know Saul, the one God chose as king, would listen and obey. And Saul chose not to. Because Saul did not listen and obey God's clear directions, Saul would no longer be king. This left the Israelites without a king. Being without a king was a weak place to be. But God was with the Israelites and was already on it. God sent Samuel to a man named Jesse. One of Jesse's sons would be the next king of Israel. Jesse brought out seven of his sons, but none were the one. Samuel asked if there were any more sons, and there were. Jesse's youngest son, David, was taking care of the sheep. When David came, God told Samuel to put oil on David's head and anoint him as king. From that moment on, God's spirit was powerful with David. David may have seemed like the weakest of his brothers, but he was the one God chose to be the next king. God was with David, the smallest son of Jesse. God was with the Israelites when they had no chosen king. And God is with us too. Whether you feel weak, like the problems are too big, or like you can't handle things, Come to God and say, God, you're with me when I feel weak. Weak, that's the word. That's how I felt when I cried at choir practice. Yes, I felt weak before too, and I don't like it either. But it is really good to know that God is with me when I feel weak. Friends, have you ever felt weak before? I think feeling weak can happen for a lot of different reasons. Maybe you find yourself alone and scared, kind of like the Israelites without a king. Or maybe you feel like you're too small or too little to do something. Kind of like people thought David was before he was chosen to be king. Or maybe you fall and get a carpet burn like me. 
making you cry in a place you really don't want to. In all those situations, God, you're with me when I feel weak. God, you're with me when I feel weak. Stacy, guess what? What? With my choir teacher just called my parents. I'm gonna get to sing a solo this Sunday at church. That's when you sing all by yourself. Wow, congratulations, Callie, that's awesome. You may have felt weak at practice, but singing a solo means you're brave. I guess so. I just think it makes me feel brave to know that God is with me when I feel weak. How about you, friends? How does it make you feel to know God is with you even when you feel weak? Awesome! Thanks for learning and growing with me.